Steven, what's it like in there? Steven, can you hear me? What's it like? He's gone. He's in his own little world. You were uh, wearing the Oculus Rift there. What, what was it like? It was, you know, um, it changes your chemistry a little. I think uh, you, 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 it could put you in a position you wouldn't normally be in in real life without having your life in danger. And your brain is telling you you're in a situation where your body really isn't. So it, 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 uh, uh, Can you describe what you saw? Yeah, this is like a, a Game of Thrones simulation where you go to the top of the wall um, and it takes you to the very edge of the wall. You're looking out on a great canyon. There's no guardrail between you and, you know, it's a huge drop. And, you know, so, you know, if you have vertigo, I might warn you against it. And um, then you look way down the valley and you see the, you know, the, the wildlings, whatever this is coming after you. And they start pitching fireballs at you until finally they catch you and you're on fire and you, you tumble down uh, into the valley into a horrible white death. It looked like you didn't want to leave though. Um, uh, it, it, you, can, you can go for a long time. I could see, you know, uh, in the future being involved in, you know, like, like, like long involved video games where it would almost be like uh, decompressing after a long dive. You probably would take a long time to return to reality after that. So it's going to be really interesting what happens. Uh, with this technology that uh, hits the main mainstream or, or it just hits our um, uh, 